here it says multiply, so we have to distribute both the x to the second parentheses and the negative 2 to the um, second set of parentheses. So we're doing, we're going to multiply x by every one of these. Then we're going to multiply negative 2 by every one of these. So x times x squared is 2 times x to the third. x times negative 3x is negative 3 times x squared. And x times negative 1 is negative x. Now we're going to multiply the negative 2 by every one of those three terms. So negative 2 times 2x squared, that's negative 4x squared. Negative 2 times negative 3x is positive 6x. And negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Now we're going to combine like terms. There is no other x cubed term other than the first one. Now there is 2, negative 3x squared and negative 4x squared. That's a total of negative 7x squares. Then we have a negative x and plus 6x. That's a total of 5x's. And then we just have a positive 2. That's the last one here. So we put plus 2, and that's the answer. Next, number 12, it says solve for x. So notice we have an x and a y in this equation. But solve for x means get x all by itself. So we're going to put all the x's on one side. So we're going to subtract this xy from both sides. So these two cancel. And now we're going to add the 4 to both sides. So we get 3xy minus xy equals 12. Well, 3xy minus 1xy, there's like an understood 1 in here. That's a total of 2xy's. And now we're trying to get x by itself. Notice there's a 2 being multiplied by it and a y being multiplied by it. So we have to divide by 2y. Divide both sides by 2y. So the 2's cancel and the y's cancel and here this 2 becomes a 6 I mean the 12 becomes a 6 and the 2 becomes a 1 so we get x equals 6 over y 